Most people are not getting what they want because of one particular issue, slavery mindset. There are some actions you are taking that shows that you have a slavery mindset. Watch this video to the end to know the mindset of a slave in this millennium. Hello everyone, my name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. Please support this channel today by subscribing to this channel so that we'll be able to impart more life on earth. Also, please don't forget to like this video and share with others. Today, I'm going to talk about how you display slavery mindset. But before I continue, let me give the keyword that summarized today's topic. The keyword today says, instant gratification is a slavery mindset. Are you the type that wants instant cash now, now? You just want cash and billions just quickly. That is a slavery mindset. Esau wanted instant food and his sources was given to Jacob. Lasting sources take time. So have the mindset of taking action and waiting patiently for your action seed to germinate into the sources you really want. You might be wondering what exactly is this slavery mindset? Slave mentality is a mindset or a way of thinking which comes from being a slave. You believe whatever your master tells you, whether it's true or it's not. Your shackles and chain have been traded for smaller bracelets, bangles, and jewelry. You enjoy gratification now more than future success. Now, what are the signs that shows you have a slavery mindset? Number one, whatever comes into your life, you accept it. Are you someone who say you don't care whatever happened to you at any point in time? If it is good, you call it luck. If it is bad, you call it destiny can never change. But deep inside you, you really enjoy good life. You really wanted good life. Jeremiah 5.21 says, You foolish and senseless people, who have eyes and do not see, who have ears but do not hear, I believe as you are hearing me today, this is not your portion because you are not a foolish person. Remember, when Jesus got to the blind man, the first thing he asked the blind man, what do you want me to do for you? Then the blind man said, so that I can see. Jesus knew he was blind, but he asked him, maybe he wanted something else or he wanted his sight. Maybe deep inside you, you wanted good life, but you are not using your inner eyes to see and you are not using your inner ears to hear things that will make you to be successful just because of the experience you have had in your life and just because of what is happening around you. Your experience and other people's experience had affected your subconscious mind. To the extent you don't believe good things will happen to you anymore, so you don't care about whatever happened to you. Although everyone on earth passed through one trial or the other, God will not promote you until he tests you. So, don't live life to whatever happened. God said already, go and multiply. That is a blessing on everyone. And he said, he wish above all that we prosper in all our ways. What exactly do you want? Don't allow life to control your destiny. Control your destiny by opening your inner eyes and inner ears to get what you wanted. Number two, another sign that shows that you have a slavery mindset is you want the success now as quickly as possible. 
Bible also says those who wanted to be rich, they fall into temptation and trap into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge them into ruin. 1 Timothy 6 verse 9 confirms this. This verse simply means if you are the type that wanted quick money now, you are actually a slave. You have a slave mindset. For example, if a farmer plants a mango seed, it takes 100 to 150 days for it to grow. Likewise, if a farmer plants a bamboo tree, it takes 5 years for it to grow. So, getting wealthy and becoming successful will take time also based on individual purpose in life. If you want to start a business, by taking action to start the business is the seed you have made. Then, advertising, training yourself to become better. Discounts you give are the water you put into the business to make it grow. Once it starts to grow gradually, your success will arrive one day. Likewise, if you want a job and you got a good job, your good attitude, your hard working, and most of your training are the water you put into the job to make it grow gradually. Then one day, your promotion will come. Someone who has a successful mindset we wait patiently for their seed to germinate. So, wait for your success. The third slavery mindset is this. You can't think for yourself. A quote says, Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. Do you always ask people, to tell you what you are good at. You want people to tell you your purpose in life. Don't get me wrong, it is good to get counsel from people who have more experience than us in life. But hear this truth today. Most people, most wealthy people that their name enter into the Guinness book are those who find time to always think. Thomas Edison was one of the wealthy people who find time to sit down and think personally. And that was how he discovered electricity. Those people that discovered aeroplane were just standing out one day thinking and they saw a bird and the idea of aeroplane came into their mind because they find time to think by themselves. Not having time to think is a slavery mindset. Dear friend, if you do not want the poverty mindset of your forefathers to continue in your generation, find time to think for ideas that will make you much, much better than your forefathers. In conclusion, dear friend, overcome your slavery mindset by with the right mindset of boldness, courage, faith, and hope, so that you can achieve the better success more than your forefathers. Hope this encourage you to run after your dream. Speak to you soon. God bless.